million dollar misdiagnosis involving one of the biggest hospital networks in our area. Good to have you with us tonight at six. A jury finds a former doctor at Oakwood Healthcare, now Beaumont Hospital, guilty of malpractice, awarding the victim more than three million dollars. This was the first judgment in what could be a long line of defendants suing Dr. Yasser Awad. Jason Colthorpe is here now with details of this first case. Jason. Yeah, guys, Maria Martinez is now 26, but 15 years ago, her life was changed forever. She was erroneous, erroneously diagnosed as a child with a disease that the subsequent treatment of left her as an adult with several social and behavioral issues. In 2003, when Mariah Martinez was just nine and suffering from migraines, she was referred to child neurologist Dr. Yasser Awad. He diagnosed her with epilepsy. I was kind of outcast when I was younger because I couldn't do everything the other kids could do. Um, I was very depressed when I was on the medication. She couldn't play sports or even go swimming. And then four years later, she learned she was never sick at all. I was angry, shocked. I didn't know what to think. And now someone's telling me, they lied to me, they did this to me intentionally, and I'm not sick. A civil case against Awad began in 2008 and brought forth 250 more kids with Mariah's story. Needless tests and prescription drugs for a disease they didn't have. We had 1,751 EEGs reviewed that Dr. Awad labeled as abnormal, as indicative of seizures, and all of them were completely normal. Despite the verdict from nine jurors and their award of more than $3 million, Beaumont isn't ready to take responsibility in this yet. In fact, they're defending Dr. Awad's treatment and diagnosis, saying this to us in a statement today. While we respect the jury's verdict, we disagree with the outcome and will appeal this decision. We believe patients were treated appropriately and disagree with allegations of improper oversight of Dr. Awad by Oakwood Healthcare. It's unbelievable. I don't know how they could have defended this case in the first place. And now in the face of a unanimous jury finding to say that they stand by his care, I think is troubling. Just admit to me that yes, they were wrong and that they're sorry for it. I think that would mean in the world to me. If we have to try another 250 cases, we will. But each one of these kids is gonna get some measure of justice. Now, because of statutory caps on verdicts, this could be reduced to as much as $495,000, but McKean is trying to fight that law as unconstitutional and let this stand as more than $3 million. So did anybody ever notice anything strange like all those tests? Right. That did stand out to one doctor. According to testimony, uh, she reported it, the irregularities to hospital officials. McKean says she told them several times and they swept her concerns under the rug. This was another doctor working closely, but the hospital in that statement that we read says it disagrees with the allegations of any improper oversight by yeah. fellow doctors okay. and staff. Is there to watch how this decision now affects what could be 250 other cases. Like you heard, he'll go to trial if he has oh, to, but yeah. he'd rather, we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, Jason.